let's imagine you would like to replace the rear disc uh, brake pads on your floating caliper braking system so that's the rear right uh, you've removed the disc uh, from from the system we've also removed the bracket for example that that goes like here and the caliber mounts uh, on that and this is all good but what the thing is that one needs to do is uh, inspect the caliper pins these are two caliper pins but lo and behold well lo and behold they are really uh, different uh, shapes and every couple of years one needs to clean them re-grease them put them back together uh, but the problem is if you've taken them out and you, if you mix them you don't know which is on top which is on bottom uh, so this is a video to explain what the differences are between these two and uh, where exactly to put them. Stay tuned. Let me assemble this uh, braking system slightly so I can show the different parts and how it operates. So this is a rear right uh, braking system so the car travel normally travels that direction. The disc spins like that when it operates. So when people uh, talk about top and bottom what one should uh, remember is that so when the car, the car normally travels that direction so the edge that first hits so when you break this is the edge that first get hit by the by the braking system so there is a there's a brake pad here so this edge is called a leading edge and this is a trailing edge so leading caliper and trailing caliper not uh, top uh, and bottom uh, let me remove that for convenience. Let me also put the, the caliper on top, uh, just only slightly to... Um... There we go, that's a, well, there has to be a brake pad underneath, but it's just easier to do it like that. So this is really a floating caliper, it kind of moves slightly, so the, the caliper pushes from the other side, this moves and uh, breaks from, uh, uh, squeezes from both sides. So a crucial, interesting thing for those, the, the trailing pin for example but it doesn't matter in this case it's the trailing pin the brake line goes uh, from there goes uh, that side so what you can do is you can undo the the two uh, caliper bolts and you can kind of flip it around like that remove the brake pads put new brake pads if you only want to replace brake pads and then put it back together um, and this is a crucial for the for this for this trailing pin I'll uh, remove it so to show the difference between the two uh, pins. So I've removed it again. Uh, so the bracket, uh, the bracket uh, goes like that. So that's the leading edge. The, the disc spins that direction. Normally, uh, when you go forward, the car travels that direction. That's the rear right. Uh, so you can remove that. So this is the trailing edge, this is the leading edge. So if you one takes a look at the, the leading edge, it, if you move it, it doesn't really move that much, there isn't much movement. But if you move the, the trailing edge, you can probably quite see how um, uh, flimsy it is. Well, slightly flimsy, but it's not entirely. This one is not really that. But the thing is that, why is this so? I'll show inside how they look like. Because the brake line goes like that so if you want to really just change the brakes you just flip this as I showed earlier you flip this and this slight movement really gives you a slight degree of freedom so you can kind of um, the caliper can move and you can you can open it take the brake parts and then close it back together so let's see how how they inside So, first of all, the leading edge, this was that was at the bottom, where the first, the disc hits this first. It's got several flat, flat areas like these that go along along the edge. And here is, it, it's conical, it's kind of uh, uh, circular, there, is, there are no flats, only start from here to there. Let me remove these rubber boots. So this goes in that and down here and you can see how uh, good it doesn't really uh, move at all. So the purpose of these flat areas is just basically to uh, be able because there is a because this is quite tight fit 
uh, in order to be able to get more grease inside so to have grease in here so this will be able to move slightly that's why these flats so this particular system you can't quite see it's got uh, three flats on some cars for example Hondas or Fords they have two flats on that side and that side this is um, uh, a three flat uh, sided uh, kind of caliper pin uh, the crucial thing is if you have two sides let's put them in together so the flat the flat side one of the five if you have two flat sides the flat side has to face that uh, boat just to allow for thermal expansion between these two uh, caliper pins so the flat has to face that direction it's not entirely crucial but it, it's good to be able to uh, one of the flats if we have two flats to face uh, that caliper pin so let's look at the uh, the trailing that at the top i mean you can see how 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 different they are so this is slightly conical and it's kind of a stepwise uh, goes down so this is the largest, this is smaller, this is smaller, this is smaller, like a conical, stepwise conical uh, coming down. And this is only the reason for this, is to allow this slight freedom, so the caliper, so then you can kind of twist the caliper a bit and, and, uh, and do that. So even if you mix them up, it's not entirely uh, problematic, but this with the flats uh, goes to the leading edge, this with the conical, kind of stepwise, uh, goes to the uh, to the trailing edge, so leading edge, trailing edge. Uh, it's not entirely problematic if you mix them, mix them up, but uh, that's that's how they are. So some of the cars will, will won't have these uh, conical uh, shapes and these things. Uh, they'll be just exactly the same. Uh, particularly for Honda, there will be uh, this stepwise three and and two sides uh two sides not uh three uh so if you have a normal none of these so you don't really uh need to um pay that much attention so this is a peugeot 307 2008 model uh but this is fairly the same for a lot of other uh, manufacturers so again um this is the leading edge this is the trailing edge because if you flip it around uh, it won't be top and uh, top and bottom. It will be this will be the leading edge here because it rotates that side. If you if I move this to the other side of the car, so this is rear right, uh, they will again um, flip these positions. So always talk about uh, leading and trailing edge. An interesting observation uh, for me: uh, the leading edge is not the not floppy um, uh, guide pin but the other one is quite a bit floppy the trailing edge but if you flip this around like that so the leading edge here the 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 caliper will come here so if you want to replace um the brake pads you flip um the caliper like that so this will be the floppy one uh not the leading will be the floppy one rather than the trailing so it just depends where it turns so when I sit there isn't much of a problem if you flip them uh, that's why because if you have it at the front you flip the caliper the caliper will go like here and you'll flip it like that this will be the floppy kind of uh, guide pin and that will be the one that doesn't really move so it it, it really matters where this uh, caliper moves that's because some manufacturers uh, have it on the uh, at the at the back uh, of the of the system some have it at the front so in that case in my case the leading will be that with the flats and the non floppy one on this system for example honda i think it's forward um this will be the the leading one because this goes like that the leading one will be the floppy one so it really matters where you kind of um, pivot where you kind of pivot the um the caliper well, this is it about these caliper pins on the rear uh, on the rear braking system with a floating um, caliper disc. Uh, let me know for any comments in the comment section if you have any suggestions or uh, if you really know why these flats. I believe is to pack more grease, and there are two competing hypotheses on on as far as I managed to see. One is that you can pack more grease inside, and the other thing is that. Um, to allow slightly thermal expansion but if you have three there is this is a better design than two flats from uh, both sides and this is to give a bit of a degree of movement so thank you very much indeed hopefully that is useful to someone let me know for any comments in the comment section thank you